Hi everyone, I'm Rinzi and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. Today I'm back to do a Ready, Set, Hold. This is a series where we highlight books that are coming out a couple of months in advance so that way you guys can put them on hold at your local library now so that way you are at the top of the hold list rather than the bottom of the hold list. Today I'm talking about books that are coming out in January, the new year crazy. So the first book I'm going to highlight comes out on January 9th and that is Winter by Allie Smith. Allie Smith is doing this set of seasonal books and so Autumn came out in 2017 and so Winter is now coming out in January of 2018. In this book you are following a group of four people, strangers and family, who converge on this 15 bedroom house in Cornwall for the Christmas holiday. Now I'm not completely sure if this seasonal quartet is like a series of books in terms of like you're following the same characters, but I know that they will all revolve around the themes of each season. So in Ally Smith's Winter, life force matches up to the toughest of the seasons. And this novel is being described as casting a warm, wise, merry, and uncompromising eyes of life in our post-truth era in a story that's rooted in history and memory. So if you enjoyed Autumn by Ally Smith or you've just been enjoying Ally Smith's writing in general, Winter is now coming out and again that one is released on January 9th. The next book I'm going to highlight comes out on January 16th and that is Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. This is a contemporary young adult book and you are following 17 year old American born Maya who is torn between two worlds. There's the proper one that her parents expect her to live by as a good Indian daughter going to a university that's close by her home in the Chicago suburbs and being matched up with this Muslim boy that her mom has deemed suitable. But then there's the world of her dreams, which is to go off to New York City and to go to film school and maybe pursuing a boy that she has known since grade school. And then there's the real world that Maya lives in. In the aftermath of a horrific crime that takes place hundreds of miles away, Maya's world is turned upside down. The community that she knows has become nearly unrecognizable. Her neighbors and her classmates become filled with fear and bigotry and ultimately Maya has to find the strength to figure out where exactly she belongs. So again this is a contemporary young adult book. This one has been getting a lot of really great buzz. It also has a really great cover that I really enjoy uh, but it's a contemporary young adult book looking at the world through the eyes of a teenage female Muslim girl who is forced to confront her own culture as well as the way that other people in the world around her view her culture. And again, that's called Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samira Ahmed. Also coming out on January 16th is another young adult book, Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. This is a mystery story that takes place at an elite boarding school in Vermont. It was founded by this early 20th century tycoon who wanted to create a place full of riddles and twisting pathways and gardens, but shortly after the school opened, his wife and daughter were kidnapped. The only real clue left behind was a mocking riddle listing methods of murder and was signed Truly Devious. And this has become one of the great unsolved crimes of American history. Of course, true crime aficionado Stevie Bell is set to start off her school year at this new boarding school, and she has this grand, ambitious plan to solve this cold case. However, something strange happens after she starts school. It turns out that Truly Devious may have returned. So Maureen Johnson is a really great young adult author. I've read a bunch of her books, and it her last series was also a mystery series that was really, really strong. And again, that's called Truly Devious. Next up, I have a memoir that's coming out, and that is Brave by Rose McGowan. This is being described as both a revealing memoir as well as an empowering manifesto. So Rose McGowan is an actress, and I believe in the story she talks about her experiences in Hollywood and way that becoming a Hollywood star created this nightmare of like constant exposure and like over sexualization. The Hollywood machine expected her to you know, be packaged in this very specific way, and Rose McGowan sort of rebelled against all of that. She asserted her true identity and her own voice, and she stood up against various things and spoke out about various controversies that were happening in Hollywood. Rose McGowan has also been extremely vocal in terms of the recent news that's been happening in terms of various people in Hollywood being outed as being you know, sexual assaulters and whatnot. And she's sort of become this fearless activist in Hollywood. So if you are a fan of Rose McGowan's or if you are just looking for 
an empowering memoir to read. You can definitely pick up Brave by Rose McGowan and that comes out on January 30th. The next book I want to highlight also comes out on January 30th and is another memoir slash essay collection. This one is called This Will Be My Undoing, Living at the Intersection of Black, Female, and Feminist in White America by Morgan Jerkins. I know Morgan Jerkins because she actually used to write for Book Riot and she's become a pretty well-known like essayist online in different publications. Um, this essay collection has already been getting rave reviews from a number of different people including here at Book Riot. So this is a collection of linked essay collections that talk about a variety of things including like pop culture and feminism and U.S. history, black history, racism, misogyny, all these different topics that Morgan Jerkins is known for tackling. It's being described as perfect for people who are fans of Roxanne Gates' Bad Feminists or Rebecca Solnit or even Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie's We Should All Be Feminists. Morgan Jerkins is exploring sort of what it means to be a black woman in the United States today and talks about how women specifically black women are often objectified or silenced or ignored by like mainstream feminism and whatnot so if any of those topics sound interesting to you which i know it will be of interest to some people definitely pick up this will be my undoing by morgan jerkins and the final book i'm going to highlight is still me by jojo moyes and this one also comes out on january 30th this is a book that features louisa clark who is the heroine from me before you and after you louisa clark arrives in new york city ready to start a new life and completely sure that she will be able to embrace embark on this adventure while also maintaining her relationship with Sam who is thousands of miles away. She gets thrown into the world of this upper class super rich family and Louisa who is determined to make all this work just throws herself into this job and into this sort of upper class of society. So in this book Louisa is forced to keep secrets some of which are not her own as she tries to balance these two worlds that she's a part of the one here in New York City as well as the one back home and all of this sort of comes to a head as she figures out who exactly she is. So if you are a fan of Jojo Moyes or if you're a fan of specifically Me Before You and the character of Louisa Clark, definitely put this one on your calendar. And that is Still Me, which comes out on January 30th. So those are all of the books that I'm going to highlight in this video. Definitely leave a comment down below letting me know if you're interested in any of these or if there are any other books coming out in January that you are excited to check out. So that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!